In this video, we will show you how to add timestamps when you generate leads in Voice Flow Chat Bot. We have received questions from audience, asking how to save the order time and date together with the customer's name, phone number, email, address, etc. to a Google Sheet. It looks there are very limited information on this topic, so we have decided to make this video. Hopefully it will help answer those questions. When do we need to save the time and date? Firstly, we may want to know when the customer places an order. Secondly, we may want to know when the customer starts and ends the conversation. Sometimes we may want to know how long a customer stays with a specific product, which he or she may be very interested in. These are very useful information we may want to save together with leads. Here we are going to use the pizza bot demo we showed you in our previous video and add a time and date parameter to be saved to our Google Sheet. The first block shows the welcome to the customer and we have two buttons for the customer to click. One is order a pizza and the other is end conversation. If the order a pizza button is clicked, we will let the customer to choose if he wants to see the specialty pizza. If the yes button is clicked, we will show the product carousel to the customer. First, we get the product data from a Google Sheet using an API block. We need the URL from VoiceFlow and ID and the name of the sheet. Please find my previous video to check out how to set up the API working with a Google Sheet. The rows from the responsive JSON data are stored in the variable. Next, we use a JavaScript to set the dynamic pizza carousel parameter with layout and cards. We have a get card function to pass arguments and generate cards. We use a for loop to generate all the cards and push them into the carousel array. In the custom action block, we have the name of carousel, and in the action body, we select the JSON and put the dynamic pizza carousel variable here. The path of pizza selected is default path. Again, please watch our previous dynamic carousel video for more details. In the next JavaScript block, we set the variable order type as the last event dot payload dot pizza selected. In the next text block, we confirm the customer's ordering with the variable to show the product name. Next we ask if the order is for pickup or delivery with two buttons for him to click. Now we ask for the customer's name and the capture block to save it to the variable. Then we ask for the customer's phone number and save the input to another variable. Before we save the name and phone number, we use the JavaScript block to save the time and date. The variable, the time is set using new date and its function to locale time string, which accepts local parameter. We format the hour and minute with two digit format and the time zone is America New York. Of course, you can choose your own time zone. The variable, the date is set using the same function and we format the weekday as long, year as numeric, month as long and day as numeric. The time zone is same. After we set all the parameters we are ready to save the data to the Google Sheet. We use an API block and choose post and enter the URL. In the body section, we select from data. Put the name as the variable custom name, number as the custom phone, orders as order type, and we add time as the time and date variables. After this, all the data will be saved to our Google Sheet. Finally, we have the thank you to end the conversation. Now we are going to test the pizza bot. We click the button to order a pizza. We want to see the specialty pizzas. The carousel shows the products, and we click to see more products. We click to order the buffalo chicken pizza. You have ordered a buffalo chicken pizza. Thank you. Is this order for pickup or delivery? Click on Pickup. Perfect. Could you let me know your name? Let us enter the name. Now it is the phone number. The system is saving all the data. Finally, thank you Mike, and conversation ends. We now take a look at our Google Sheet, which shows the time when the customer placed the order. It has the time, the weekday, and the date. And we have the customer's name, phone number, and the ordered product, Buffalo Chicken Pizza. In summary, we have shown how to add and save time to our Google Sheet. The time and date can be formatted as desired. This could be very useful when tracing the customer's ordering, etc. If you like this video, please subscribe and give a thumbs up. 
If you have any comments and suggestions, please let us know. Thank you for your support.